Despite the fact that the Vatican is Taiwan's only diplomatic ally in Europe, Pope Francis has frequently expressed interest in developing closer ties with China. A few days ago, the Pope appeared in an exclusive interview with an online publication in Hong Kong in which he sounded eager to begin such dialogue, even assuaging public fears of an ascendant China. Many believe this may spell the end of Taiwan-Vatican relations, though Foreign Minister David Lin says there is no such worry. Three, two, one. President Ma ying and Vice President-elect Chen Jianren presided over a ribbon-cutting ceremony for an exhibition of Vatican relics at the National Palace Museum yesterday. And today, Ma met with personal representatives of the Holy See. Many believe that this is an indication that Taiwan government is paying more attention to diplomatic ties with the Vatican. A few days earlier, Pope Francis appeared in an interview with Hong Kong media, where he told the world not to fear an ascendant China. Many have interpreted his comments as a sign of goodwill to China's government, with some saying it could also be a troubling sign for Taiwan-Vatican relations. We are completely confident. We also want the public to be confident. We have very good dialogue with the Holy See, and we also understand that China has upwards of tens of millions of Catholics, which is also the concern of the Pope. I think the problem for improving the Pope and the Vatican's ties with the Beijing authorities is not Taiwan. It is the issue of religious freedom and related attitudes and policies. Still, many continue to be nervous about improving relations between the Vatican and China, as it could ultimately impact relations with Taiwan, as China now has the upper hand.